Henry, thank you. It's a biblical comedy drama like you've never seen before. You can't even buy power like that. I want to be like that in 10 years. I want to be like that now. The film is called The Book of Clarence, and it follows a man who's down on his luck, struggling to find a better life for his family. Everything changes after he discovers the Messiah and uses it for his own personal gain. We're teaming up with Sony Pictures Canada to take a closer look at the new movie, which is in theaters now, and Rad is here to break things down for us. Look at the grin on your face right now. <laughs> Hallelujah? Hallelujah. Is, that, is that the right language right now? Like... Okay, so I want to start with the uh, story of the Book of Clarence. It it's recreating the biblical drama. What can you tell us about yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, um, it's, it's basically an irreverent take on the biblical epic. Like, it's set in Jerusalem, 33 AD, so you know what happens that year. Um, and it stars Lakeith Stanfield as, as um, a prospective 13th apostle, right? Basically, he's a hustler in the streets of, uh, of Jerusalem, you know, dealing with kind of the Roman occupation. A lot of this is about his interactions with, with Rome as, as an occupying force. And a lot of those interactions are actually informed by kind of the interactions between between the, the black community and police. So this is a very forward looking, you know, biblical epic and one that, you know, um, it, it, it takes its inspirations from like the, the biblical epics that the director James Samuel grew up with. So not just like Jesus, not just like um, the greatest story ever told, like the Jesus narratives, but the Jesus adjacent narrative. So think like Ben-Hur, like mm -hmm. this movie opens with a chariot race that is in a direct homage to Ben-Hur. Like, you know, it's a chariot race between Clarence and Mary Magdalene, which is hilarious. Uh, and it goes from there to just like, uh, to, 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 to tell the story of Clarence as a hustler who decides that he's going to become a false prophet peddling counterfeit miracles to, you know, basically to, to get, uh, to grab attention from Jesus, to steal some of Jesus' shine, some of his attention until he discovers the savior in himself. Okay, so we're going to put up a QR code on the screen right now because you want to buy tickets for this. <laughs> it's going to take you right to that website so you can just click and buy. All you have to do is scan the QR code. Rad, there is a lot, I think, that makes this film unique mm -hmm. compared to others in the same genre. Some of the words you're using to describe it, even just saying comedy yeah, yeah, is yeah. not something that we typically associate with this genre. Yeah, no, and the thing is, like, I mean, what uh, we, we've seen irreverent takes on the biblical epic before, but not in a way like this. Not like this one is a very proudly black take on the Bible. It's a functified take on the Bible. It's one where, you know, like, so Clarence, he's a, he's basically a hustler who's selling weed on the streets. Jesus is like a superhero in the alleyways, <laughs> you know, it, and, and what it is is it's it's in some ways it's, it's a cheeky satire, you know, in some ways it'll remind you of Life of Brian. It's very Monty Python. It leans in on kind of stoner comedy, but then it's not a religious satire. And it's a religious satire, but it's also one that wants to reinforce faith. It's it's also one that, you know, it wants to feel, feel like going to church, but making church fun and reinforce and, and, and sort of finding kind of like the spirit of it all, but not in a way that's rigid. So it's, it's, it's an interesting mix of influences because it's, it's Monty Python, Life of Brian, satire like that, but it's also Ben-Hur. It's also like, you know, has this sort of reverence for the biblical epics. And those are two competing influences. Can we talk about the filmmaker, James yeah. Samuel, for a second? He has quite the resume mm -hmm. when you start to tabulate everything through. Tell me about him. Yeah, I mean, James Samuel, you know, I was talking about him a couple years ago because he made this really wild Western called The Harder They Fall, right? And The Harder They Fall, you know, was a Western where he once again reintroduced the black characters into the Western. And that's kind of been his MO where, you know, he, 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 he reclaims black people's space within genres that they should have always been a part of, right? And that Western, I was bound about it before because not only was it a fun Western, but it had a really fun soundtrack. I mean, he made a Western that was bopping to dance hall reggae and, and hip hop and stuff. And, so, and because the thing about James Samuel, he's actually the brother of Seal, like Kiss from a Rose Seal. Like that's James Samuel is his brother. Really? Yes, and he go, he's actually a musician that goes by the name Bullets, the Bullets, right? And so music is a big part of his movie, whether it's the reggae and dance hall and hip hop in The Harder They Fall, or also in here in the Book of Clarence, where he's basically bringing the sounds of Detroit funk and R&B to Jerusalem. My favorite scene is kind of a soul train night on the town in Jerusalem. Um, so that's a big part of, of his whole visual style, the sound of it. This movie sounds amazing. <laughs> and like, I do, we gotta go, but I, like the cast <laughs> of this film, yeah, you yeah. just like every big hit or isn't it? Oh my God. Well, so starting with Lakeith Stanfield, but you also have, you know, Alfred Woodard as the Virgin Mary and, and David Ayello and Benedict Cumberbatch, whose role I will not reveal, but very okay. divine performance. Okay, like it, it is a must see, <laughs> clearly. Yeah. Rod, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. The Book of Clarence is playing exclusively in theaters now. I'm here to enlighten you. Your morning is brought to you in part by the Book of Clarence, now playing.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.